Okay, we are in the all-star break for the NBA. So what does that mean? What does that mean? It's time for another update where we're at, where we're standing with the NBA right now, um, at least to me, you know, at least to me, based off of what I've seen, you know, as it stands right now, I've seen about 15 NBA games this year, which is a lot better than last year. It's a lot better than last year because I swear around this time I only saw like maybe like five, six, seven, I don't know. I don't remember because it was last year. This is a new year, baby. This is a new year. And the 2021-2022 season has been interesting so far in the fact that the Eastern Conference is still just wild. It's still very wild. We're talking, you know, the Heat are in first place. Now, last last month when we did this, you know, it was the Cavs that were in first place. I'm, I'm, and I'm really shocked, you know, at the way things have been going here. Of the Nets, they were in first place, but they'd have dropped all the way down to eighth place after such a long losing streak. They had like a nine or ten game losing streak in a row, and things just did not did not go well. They did not go well. I'll say that much. I'll say that much at the very least. Uh, so right now it looks kind of interesting. Um, you know. It's it's been it's been some fun games I've seen in the past couple of weeks. It's been some fun ass games I've seen, especially um, Warriors Lakers um, last Saturday night. That was definitely a very fun matchup right there. We'll talk about you know a little bit more about you know all the teams and stuff like that. At least the ones that we're gonna talk about in a moment here. Uh, when you look over at the West, the standings right now completely insane right now. We're talking the Suns and Warriors are still at the top of the West. But the Grizzlies and the Jazz, the Mavs and the Nuggets, they're all, you know, still right there. And then you see teams like the Timberwolves. Yes, the Timberwolves are sneaking up in there. I don't know where they came from. I don't know where. Um, and then you got the Lakers again. Again, this is a struggling Lakers team. Again, they can play. We know they can play. You know, we know they can play. But it's just, it just hasn't been, you know, a Lakers team that can find a complete cohesive unit, you know. In, in, at least in my eyes. So let me go over to my notes here. You know, now that we discuss the standings a little bit again, you know, there's teams like the Rockets and the Thunder, you know, that are just not good. I mean, it's just kind of sad at this point. But uh, you got the huge trade. We finally got the trade. James Harden with the Philly. Ben Simmons is going to Brooklyn. Um, so that has been an intriguing, you know, storyline because, again, Harden wanted out. Ben Simmons has wanted out since the beginning of the season. And they finally got the trade done because, I mean, there were so many different rumors spreading around, so many different, uh, you know, speculations spreading around. Like the Kings at one point were going after Ben Simmons. Like that that's how bad it was. Like, uh, yeah, that that's definitely been something. Uh, but again, like I said, you know, the Lakers have been in a weird kind of position. LeBron James has the most all-time points now. Like that, like that is insane. Like I, I didn't even like, and he passed it during the Warriors game. I think he he passed it during the Warriors game that he had the most points. He passed Kareem, and it's just like that. That does not matter right now. The Lakers are still under 500, ninth place in the West Conference. It's right now. Um, like. Russell Westbrook and company, you know, Anthony Davis, like, everything's just not gelling together for the Lakers. It, it really hasn't. It really hasn't. For the Bulls, you know, you got Zach Levine. He's hurt. I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if he's going to be all right. It was a lower body injury, you know, around his ankle foot area that he got hurt. And I, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm hopefully, hopefully he's all right. Because, again, you know, again, it, you know, these injuries do, they do be wild. And they do be wild. And, um... But again, the wild again the Eastern Conference. I want to go back to the Eastern Conference because it's been a wild Eastern Conference. You got Brooklyn on a free fall, like I said. Demar Derozan and the Bulls—they're just continuing to win games the way they need to be doing. You know, the Cavs again. This is a young Cavs team. Like we're talking, Karis LeVert and company is leading the way. It's also Kevin Love and, and Rajon Ron, and Ray John Rondo. Yeah, that yeah that Ray John Rondo. And Kevin Love. I'm surprised, you know, I'm very much surprised that the Cavs are becoming a threat. You know, it's not just Karis LeVert. Again, this is a young Cavs team. Well, I was completely shocked. I'm sitting here like, what? Where did this team come from? You know, and, and you know, you got Jimmy Butler in the Heat. They're still, you know, still looking like that team that went to the finals, you know, 
not even two years ago, and they're still looking like a team that can win. Giannis and the, Bo- and the Bucks are still lurking around doing things. Now, we know Trey Young and the Hawks, they can ball at times. You know, they got a nice surrounding cast around Trey Young, but it has to be translating into the wins. Knicks, they're not a pushover either. Don't, don't, don't get pushed over by the Knicks. The Knicks are not a pushover, I'll tell you that much right now. Um, in the West, you got things like, again, the Sons of the Warriors to still at the top. You know, you got Clay Thompson, he's been resurgent. Him and Steph just been on a tear. And then you got the Suns, you know, cooking up a heat wave. And there's one more matchup between the Suns and Warriors in March, sometime in March. So Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton, going to have a thriller, another thriller with the Warriors. I can tell you that much right now. John Morant and those Grizzlies. Oh, boy, them Grizzlies is good. Them Grizzlies is pretty good. I'll tell you that much right now. Definitely a top contending team in the West. No Porzingis, no problem for the Mavs right now. Again, you know, Luka and company, he, Luka Doncic is still just putting up insane numbers every single night. Like, he had, what, he had like 25 points in like the first quarter of a game the other night. That, that's how crazy this man has been. And I forgot where Porzingis got traded off to, um, by the way, already. It was, it, it was off the top of my head, but then I forgot. Uh, but again, you know, Tim Wolves, they come from out of nowhere. That that's another thing, and then you got Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, and Utah Jazz putting up a sight for good eyes right now. It's been a good time to be a Jazz fan if you wanted to be a Jazz fan. But yeah, um, so we're entering the home stretch here for the most part. Most teams have about 20 to 25 games left to go in the season, so that means you know we're gonna stick around and wait. A little bit longer, you know. We're not gonna we're not gonna wait too much longer. We're gonna come back here next month. So around the time March Madness comes around, I'll have another update in regards to the NBA because I'll have seen at least like ten to fifteen more games by then. You know, it's not I, I'm, I don't do NBA every night like I do college basketball. I think we've discussed this before here, but when it happens, it happens and it gets real lit up in here. You know, when it happens, so you know, there's been some damn good games over the past few weeks. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Hopefully, if you do watch the All-Star game, I don't know why. Um, you know, Skills Challenge and the, and the Celebrity All-Star game and everything like that. If you watch all that, I don't know why you want to subject yourself to that. But you do you, boo. You do you. So uh, that's going to do it here. We're going to come out with something else here today because we actually got some big news from another league, you know coming out so we'll get that out to you all later on today um, I'll, I'll be recording the next video right after this one so uh, and then you know weekend comes and goes as it pleases on here so I'll see you all very soon with the next update video for the NBA and whatever else comes in the next few days is gonna come so I'll see you very very soon everybody take care